today I'm doing my March favorites, which is insane because I can't believe it's already April. And I'm so sorry I didn't have a new video for you guys last week. Um, I mentioned in my previous video that I was going to Hawaii. So I was in Hawaii, which was amazing, but I'm back now, back to making videos. So um, yeah. So March was a super exciting month because it was my birthday month. So I have a bunch of things to show in this video, um, beauty stuff, fashion stuff, random stuff, just a whole bunch of stuff. So let's let's just get started. All right, so let's start with the beauty favorites. And the first item is my Yes to Blueberries Cleansing Facial Wipes. Now, if you've been watching me for quite a while now, then you know I'm a huge, huge fan of the Pond. This guy right here, it's the Pond's Original Fresh Cleansing Wipes. I've been using this for years now, even before I started my YouTube channel. That's how long I've been using it. But just a few months ago, out of nowhere, this gave me some sort of rashes. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden, it just started... I just started developing bumps on my face. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I just got a really bad batch. Maybe it was expired or something. But I immediately stopped using it and I had this guy laying around my apartment and decided to use it and this is amazing. It's moisturizing, it's super gentle, um, it's paraben free, it has really good ingredients and um, it says right here that it's 96% natural, so that's a good sign. Also, I really love how it doesn't sting my face. Um, other makeup wipes out there can just, it, some of them just really sting the crap out of your face but this one is pretty amazing it's very gentle next is benefits brows a go go brow and eye shaping kit which looks like this once you open it up I've actually had this in my makeup stash for quite a while now but it wasn't until recently when I kind of discovered it I love using these two colors the lighter part goes in the inner part of my brows and the darker part goes on the outer part of my brows and I just really love the mixture of both colors. I think it does a really great job of making my eyebrows look very um, natural. I actually have it on my brows right now so you guys be the judge if they look good or not. Nah. <laughs> I actually haven't used the brow wax and these two colors. Also haven't used the little pencil that comes with it but it's kind of cool to just have it there and it also comes with a little tweezer right here which is really cool because this part is actually magnetic so you don't really have to worry about the um, the tweezer going anywhere so I thought that was kind of cool and you also get a mirror. Alright, so next are some lip lacquers and these are by Rimmel London. They are the Show Off Lip Lacquers and this is what they look like. I've actually had these for quite some time now and I've been using them for the past few months but I don't think I've mentioned them in any of my favorites videos so, um, well, so far I've only done my January favorites and I skipped my February favorites so, um, yeah, but these guys are amazing. They're highly, highly pigmented and I kid you not when I say highly, highly pigmented. So here is a quick swatch for you guys. <sighs> Check that out. One swipe and it, it just looks legit. <laughs> Let's do it. It's right here. Amazing. Look at that. Look how vibrant those two colors are. And in case you guys were wondering, this one is in Stellar, and the other one I swiped is in Celestial, Celestial? Celestial. I probably butchered that. And this one is actually my favorite color out of the bunch. This is called Nova, and I'll swatch this one for you guys too, so. I don't know if you guys can see that, but even after I removed it with makeup wipes, you can still kind of see the color. 
that's just one swipe, you guys. I've also been really loving the Tanya Burr lip glosses, and this is in Picnic in the Park and Vampire Kiss. I've had these for about a month now, and I've just been really loving them. They're also highly pigmented. I've been wearing Picnic in Picnic in the Park a lot. And let me give you guys a swatch. Here you go. So that's just one swipe, very, very pigmented. And I also love the fact that they smell amazing. This one smells, they smell very fruity and I almost want to eat it because it's so, it smells like candy. I love the smell of these. I purchased two other colors, but so far I've only used these two colors and I'm really loving it. Um, amazing job to Tanya Burr. I love her, she's absolutely amazing. All right, so next are some nail polishes. I have two favorite nail polishes for this month and the first one is Molly Coddled by Butter London. It's the super gorgeous lavender slash lilac color. I think it's an amazing color. It's the perfect color for spring. Um, you could even wear it during summertime and I actually posted an Instagram of it um, I think a few weeks ago and a lot of you guys seem to like the color every time I'm wearing this on my nails my nails automatically just seem cleaner and fresher and just ready for spring so highly recommend this one I've also been loving this color this is Ladybird also by Butter London this is actually part of their new Lolly Brights collection and I've just I've just been really loving this color I actually wore this when I was in Hawaii and it was just the perfect color for Hawaii very vibrant very exotic looking and I also posted an Instagram and a lot of you guys seem to like it. So next are perfumes and the first one is Dolce and Gabbana's Light Blue and every time I hear Dolce and Gabbana, I always think of the Black Eyed Peas song Dolce and Gabbana, Fendi and then Donna, Karen, they be sharing all the money's got me wearing fi Okay, this is getting weird. This perfume has a very interesting scent. It's not floral, it's not bubblegummy, it's not candy-like. It's a very interesting scent. I usually gear towards floral scents or candy-like scents, but this one is just... I can't describe it. If you guys have a description of this, let me know down in the comment section. Maybe you guys have a better description of how this smells, but it just... It just smells amazing. So now it's on to fashion favorites. I only have two items to share with you guys. They're both from Daily Look and the first one are these slippers right here. These adorable floral slippers. From this angle, you guys are probably like, what the heck is this? What is going on? Is it broken? But actually this part goes inside of here and basically your foot goes Ah, let me just show you guys. Let me put it on right now. So I'm going to attempt to try these on for you guys while seated on my bed. So hopefully we succeed. So basically this is what the slipper looks like and all you have to do is put this around your foot and then that's what it looks like. So now you have a super duper cute Sandal. I actually brought these with me when I went to Hawaii and they were just super easy to walk in, super comfortable and super freaking adorable. So if you guys are interested, I will put a link down below um, on where you guys can purchase these. And the last item for my fashion favorites are these heels. It's kind of hard to see how cute these are, but once it's on your, your feet, they're freaking amazing. I've posted lots of Instagrams on these and every time I'm wearing them, you guys give me the best compliments. So um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that they're from Daily Look. Um, last time I checked, they were only $39 which is a pretty amazing deal because they're pretty sturdy, very great quality. I love the fact that the heels are transparent um, and it kind of has like an ombre color going on to it. So really love these. All right, so now it's on to my random favorites. And the first one is this little guy. This is the Hero 3 Plus GoPro. We were using this the entire time we were in Hawaii and it came in handy, especially when 
we did water activities. I have tons and tons of Hawaii footages that I plan on uploading on my second channel. And one of the water activities we did over there was swim with sharks legitimate sharks so you already know that those videos are going to be epic so be sure to subscribe to my second channel if you haven't yet um, again i'll put a link down in the description box another random favorite is this it's called the wish it dream it do it and once you open it up it has this little note it says you can do more than you have ever imagined if you really want something to happen write it down on paper believe in yourself and your wish will come true wish it dream it do it it comes with paper a little pen and you basically just write down whatever you want to do in life you wish it dream it and you do it. This was actually one of the gifts Arnold gave me for my birthday and I don't know I just really like it because it's very positive and it's very encouraging and um yeah I, I think that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> all right so we are down to the last category which is favorite TV shows of the month and the first show hands down goes to Desperate Housewives. This was actually my second time watching Desperate Housewives. I love it so much that I had to re-watch it so I finally finished it for the second time I'm still a huge fan. I still think it's amazing. I love Gabby, Lynette, Susan, Brie. Love them all. Another show that I've been really loving for this month, um, Arnold and I recently got into it and it is Bates Motel. It's on Netflix and this show is seriously mind-blowing. If you are into mystery, suspense, murder, eerie type of shows then I highly recommend that you watch this show because it's it's all of it's all of the above. Unfortunately there's only one season on Netflix and there's only 10 episodes so um, we have we have four episodes left till the season's over, but nonetheless, an amazing show. So that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have any favorites. I'd love to know all of your favorites. Also, let me know if you guys have any favorite shows. I'd love to start on a new series, whether it's a really old show or a fairly old show. Let me know down in the comment section, especially if it's on Netflix because I'm all about Netflix these days. Oh, another favorite of mine is my dog-eared heart necklace. I've been wearing this non-stop ever since I got it, which was maybe about almost two months ago. So um, yeah, this should definitely be in my favorites. I always forget about this necklace because I'm always wearing it, but um, yeah, it's my favorite and I love it. So that is officially it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I love you guys. Have a great day and I will see you next week for next week's video. Bye! <laughs> Did I just say that? Withdraw. Withdraw. That is a tongue twister. Withdraw. Withdraw. Oh, whatever. Alright, so since you guys are amazing and stayed till the end of this video, I am going to let you in on a little secret. So, my entire room is clean, but if I pan to this side, I have a whole bunch of clothes that that is just laying there. There's a pile that's almost as tall as me. It's hard to see right now because it's so far away, but that pile is almost as tall as me and they're just chilling there. But if I pan right here, can't see anything. And it's like my entire room is clean. <laughs>